Good morning everyone. My name is Sugantha Nyotri and I am a research scholar of Department of English in Khwaja Mohitin Chishti Urdu Age Farsi University Lucknow. First of all, I am really sorry because I am not present personally in the seminar due to some personal reasons. I am out of town right now. So I apologize for this mistake of mine. Uh, but I have recorded this video in order to do my presentation so that I, I may be able to fill this void this time. So let's get started. Now my topic is cross-cultural communication, a juxtaposition of psycholinguistic and social linguistics. Now when we talk about cross-cultural communication or cross-culture or intercultural, because when we talk about cross-culture, it is somewhat can be called intercultural communication. So it is merely based it is not merely based upon identity formulation in one's own culture but it has a very important part to play in cross-cultural identity formulation that how individuals use language influenced by other culture or other sectors in order to enhance their vocabulary. So now we are talking about cross-culture. So what is culture? So culture can be called a system of behavior that help us act in a very accepted or familiar way. Now accepted or familiar so that the society has this norms, this criteria of calling someone very cultural or very down to earth. They have some preconceived notions in their head. So according to the societal status, so type a societal norm, we need to conduct some kind of alterations in our behavior in order to fit in socially in the circle. Now cross cultural or intercultural pragmatics. There is this focus on how language across cultures uh, have something in common when it comes to context. Now context here is very important. While we are comparing or contrasting between two or more cultures, there is a wide importance of usage of language. We cannot have any existence of cross-cultural communication if we are not good at understanding this language association with linguistics. It is the study of these differences in real life use of language in common context by language users from different culture, linguistics or backgrounds. Both in both cross-cultural or intercultural pragmatics, they explore different and important sector of culture and how language is used when different cultures come in contact and they settle across each other, they come across each other, they share their ideas. Now, this is very, very helpful in advancing or in increasing someone's knowledge because knowledge can be earned from very minute things but when we come across people from different cultures we like we just hit something very precious which we cannot have while going personally somewhere we can achieve that knowledge by coming across with these sort of persons now recent analysis have said that this Cross-cultural communication should not be limited to any traditional criteria because traditions are orthodox. They are they cannot be relied upon with this advancement of technology. Research also points out that modern multicultural urban areas or multicultural communities anywhere, there is a very vast interplay of contest and solidarity among people from different male cultural or language backgrounds. There is what we call it should be the survival of the fittest. Now, what is pragmatics? Now, here comes the usage of linguistics. Pragmatics is a branch of linguistics that studies language use in social context. Here comes the social linguistics. And when we are talking about social linguistics, we are also dealing with the psyche of a person. So, there also comes the psycholinguistics. Now, pragmatics focuses upon the context of utterance, meaning or meanings possible in this context. The negotiation of meaning between the speaker and the listener. So here is, this is very important because cross and intercultural pragmatics are the deadly new fields of research concern like how language system is put to use when encounters with human beings. They have like different languages, 
they are like the, from different sectors from different being upbringings so they need to have this different emergence of pragmatism when they strongly hold some important criteria of learning their language from different sources of any source like earning of knowledge can be from any source the like potential hotspot can be like appropriate in choosing the topics of conversation now there's such a topic should when we talk about talk when we are talking to someone else so we should keep in mind like we should not use the interrupt someone we should have this open communication and there are majorly three kinds of mindsets like ethnocentric polycentric geocentric so we should maintain etiquette should not we should not speak very fast we should speak slowly keep it simple practice active silence talk avoid slang speak slowly all these are things that really conclude in so at the conclusion i would like to say that at the turn of century researchers have been in very vast in cross cultural intercultural studies so many people have gone abroad to encroach or to diminish the boundaries of culture and this also gives a very wide research aptitude to all the new researchers every possible research whether it is intercultural related to intercultural sensitivity antagonism or other cultures culture cross cultural is widely accepted all over the country not only in india but abroad as well so we need to promote this sort of communication methodology in order to gain something very precious and very useful in our day to day life as well and it is very 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 beneficial when it comes to any research area thank you so much and i'm sorry again